Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're well. It's Alessio. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the horrific collapse in the Iranian currency. Now, it's day four of my vacation here in Iran. I'm actually speaking to you in Tehran, capital of Iran. Now, what's been happening, as I'm sure you're aware, is that the Iranian currency, the rial, or the toman, has been in deep collapse. In fact, since the last three or four months, we've seen the Iranian currency fall from essentially 5,000 or 6,000 to one British pound to almost 18,000 uh, Iranian toman against the British pound. Some news reports have said the currency devaluation has been threefold, so that the uh, the Iranian toman has fallen by uh, essentially threefold, threefold depreciation against the British pound or the dollar. So just to give you an idea of how scary the depreciation is, imagine for example you had ten thousand dollars in your account. Now imagine in three months that the ten thousand dollars suddenly becomes three thousand uh, dollars. So and that's just by keeping your money in a bank. It's, it is very deeply scary. Now here's where it gets interesting. So I'm holding here in my hand uh, one British pound, essentially one dollar thirty cents. Uh, about a year ago, this was equivalent to 5,000 uh, Iranian toman, and we've seen that now that has become, that one British pound has now become 15,000 or close to 18,000 Iranian toman. By the way, one great thing that has happened because of the currency depreciation, again, that's great only if you live abroad. So if you have currencies in dollar or British pound or the euro, this is a great place to come right now because things have become extremely cheaper for foreigners or for uh, tourists to come to Iran. So guys, I can tell you, if you have dollars, British pounds or euros, you can pretty much live like a king here. I mean, a lot of the prices, uh, you can go around on a taxi journey. I mean, I've been in long journeys for only like five pounds, uh, barely, barely like six, seven dollars. And you know, you can buy, you can go to restaurants and eat as much as you want and you probably pay a very low price. So, you know, if you're, if you're living abroad, you're paying in dollars or pounds, it's fantastic. All right, guys, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the nearest uh, Bureau de Change, the, the nearest exchange place. I'm going to try and exchange uh, 100 British pounds into Iranian uh, currency, and let's see how much I can get for it. Hey guys, I'm back. So I went to three separate exchanges and I can tell you I'm shocked by the result. The first exchange I went to, they would not even accept the British pounds. I was trying to exchange 100 pounds into uh, Iranian currency. And the first one just would not accept uh, British currency, British pounds, which is surprising to me because I've done this many times uh, in my previous uh, trips here uh, to Iran. Now, they were exchanging dollars, but just not British pounds. The two other exchanges I went to, they were not even accepting any currency. Uh, they, the exchanges were not even taking or accepting any uh, pounds, dollars, euros, whatever. So really shocked by that. Uh, it's never happened before and um, it's actually kind of worrying. But here's the thing. If you're a tourist, if you're coming to Iran here for the first time, uh, that's not really such a bad thing and it's not really uh, a problem because chances are anybody would accept uh, foreign currency here. I'm pretty sure if you gave them dollars or British pounds, I'm pretty sure they would accept it. Of course, uh, the major reason for the currency depreciation and inflation as a result is due to the sanctions, the uh, the extremely unfair and unjust sanctions have been placed here uh, on Iran. There's no doubt about it. And of course, the other major cause is the inflation expectations. There are two factors that actually cause currency depreciation and inflation. One of them, of course, are external causes. Uh, but the second one is, is inflation expectations. We saw this happening in Germany at the First World War when uh, it took a wheelbarrow, a heap of wheelbarrow for people to be able to buy one piece of bread. Uh, and that was the, due to the hyperinflation that occurred back in, uh, in Germany back in the, after the First World War. Uh, I'm just hoping it's not going to happen here. I mean, I've been speaking to friends of mine and people who I know over here, and they're deeply worried by the currency depreciation. But anyway, let's see what happens. All right, guys, I hope this video has helped. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, and also please subscribe for future videos. Thanks a lot.